Hello everybody, thanks for checking out my channel, The Beer Monster Reviews. It's Beer Monster O'Clock, so let's get started. Uh, we're doing a craft beer, as you can probably see from the title. And I've been to Sainsbury's to pick this one up, and uh, it cost me one pound only. So, you know, I am trying to stick with them cheap ones, because a lot of people are struggling at the minute uh, for money and that, including myself. So I'm trying to find some good, cheap beers for you guys to try. Of course, we're all different and all that. We've got our different taste buds and stuff. I'm only one person and I'm just giving you my opinion. And um, that's it really. Now, this one is called Hyva. It is, uh, it says Fresh Natural Session IPA. Oh, you might notice uh, I'm not wearing black canal varnish, by the way. I've uh, been doing some painting, painting me stairs, uh, black gloss. There's black gloss on here. Uh, the missus had me right at it. Uh, anyway, yeah, it's called Hyava, um, and the reason, uh, oh, it's by the Hyava Brewery, uh, which I believe are based in London, and uh, they put uh, honey in their beers, so I guess that's where they get the name of the brewery from. It's 4.9% ABV, this one, and there's a 330 ml can. It says here on the back, uh, drink Hyava, save bees, come and visit the Hyava... Uh, the Hiva Bee and Beer Experience and get hands on with beer keeping. You'll learn about our work supporting British bees and how to make this award winning fresh and natural session IPA brewed with a touch of honey. Um, there you go. I mean, anything that supports the bees has got to be good. After all, they are very important. Uh, yeah, let's uh, crack it open and uh, see what it's like, shall we? Quite looking forward to this one. It sounds a little bit different. I don't know if it's always a pan. I think it might have been on special offer, but I'm not too sure. But I know well, I brought this around three days ago and it is still a pan at the minute. So I did check before I did this review on the Sainsbury's website. Uh, so yeah, it's still a quid. That is a, what you call a full can, that one. All right, let's get it in the glass. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. I was expecting it to be a more orangey color. As like most session IPAs tend to be, but this one's something a bit different. Look, just uh, I don't know what color would you say that is. I'd say it's kind of a coppery orange for me. I'm gonna go with coppery orange color, uh, with a off white head for me. You've got quite good levels of carbonation, looks like it's got a slight haze to it as well. Uh, it's quite hard to see the carbonation, but yeah, it's not too heavy, um, but it is there. All right, let's get the aroma. Oh, I am getting the honey, actually. Quite often, um, with the uh, honey beers, or they say they've got honey, and sometimes I don't get it. Yes, for me, it's kind of like uh, bready and uh, honey, like bready malts with honey. Smells interesting, I give it that, it does smell interesting. It smells right, that's all I'm really picking up. But uh, let's see what it tastes like, that's what it matters. Uh, is it gonna be a bargain at the pan? Let's uh, find out, shall we? Cheers, everybody. Bosh. Wow, I really, really like this. That's very, very interesting. Completely took me by surprise. It's not what I was thinking it was gonna be at all. Um, it does say Session IPA. Yeah, Session IPA. For a Session IPA, this has got a lot of flavor in it. A lot of Session IPAs are um, lacking in the flavor of the department and uh, tend to be a bit watery. This actually reminds me of a West Coast IPA, because the first impression for me is like, wow, there's a like, quite a, a nice bit in this. In, the, in this, I think if you like West Coast IPAs, you, you're going to enjoy this. And, um, another thing I noticed initially, the mouthfeel is it's not watery. It's, I think the honey is uh, giving it like a kind of a thicker, kind of slightly sticky mouthfeel about it. It's, it's really nice. Let's go again. This is, I think it's lovely. Um, 
got like bready malts in there. There's like a like a pepperiness about it as well. But I love the bitterness on the end. I really do. I am getting the honey, not not massively. Um, I'm not a massive fan of honey though, so for me it's perfect. Like it's there, but it's more like a hint of honey. Um, so yeah, for me that's a good thing. I don't want it to be too honey because I'm not too big on sweet beers, as you may or may not know if you follow my channel. But there's just enough in there just to give it a slight sweet edge, you know. And uh, for me, it goes really well. I don't think this would be for everyone because it is very different from your normal sort of session pad out. It's more flavoursome and it really does uh, have quite a strong bitterness, uh, which took me by surprise. But, you know, I like West Coast, like West Coast IPA, so this is right on my street. Hmm. Got like a sweetness towards the end. And then you've got like a really hoppy bitterness. That bitterness is really moorish and really nice. But like I said, I don't think it'd be for everyone. But for me, I really enjoy this. Really enjoy it. I mean, for a pan, I definitely would say this is worth a try. Can't promise you'll like it. Of course, we're all different. But particularly if you don't mind a bit of finish and you don't mind a little bit of honey, uh, yeah, I, I would uh, recommend you try this one out. But if you're not too keen on the bit bitterness and West Coast IPAs and stuff like that, perhaps I would avoid it. Although for a pan, you know, it would be worth a try anyway, really, isn't it? I'd like, mm, I, I just lo I love the finish on it. And the pepper. I think that's pretty much what I'm really getting. Oh, I should have bought more of them. Really, really enjoying that a lot. I have to uh, check out some more of their beers. I'm very impressed with that. It does say as well uh, that they only use, uh, where was it? Sure, it's somewhere. That they only use um, like British ingredients and that, the ingredients from the UK. But yeah. So it's good to support, you know, uh, breweries over in the UK. Let's call out of 10. For my personal taste. Um, I'm going to go 8.8 out of 10. I've really thoroughly enjoyed that again. And I'll definitely be picking up some more of their silly quid next time I go uh, in Sainsbury's. So I'm not sure if it's always that price, but if it is, yeah, so well worth the money, an absolute cracker. I hope it's always that price, but it may have been, it may have been in some sort of deal. I don't know. You'd have to uh, check it out um, and find out. But at the time of recording, it is a pound. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, guys, hit that like button. Uh, let YouTube know you've enjoyed it, and consider subscribing to the channel and uh, check out some more of the other videos and all that. And hopefully, I'll catch you on the next one, guys, yeah? Bye-bye, darlings.